We're going to conduct our experiment number one for soil mechanics, uh, which is the disturbed sampling, labeling, and storage. But first, before you go to the proper experiment, so make sure that all the things that you need are ready. Okay, so first, wear your laboratory gown. Then, if you have a long hair, you have to tie it back. And then, check all the things that we are going to need. Now first, we have the soil auger to help us out to dig the soil. I have also here a bolo and a shovel. Then, also do not forget your uh, lab notebook where you are going to jot down all the data that uh, you gathered from the experiments. Then we have three uh, battles. Uh, these are where your soil to be stored. So I need three because I want to gather sample from top, middle, and bottom soil. Then I have here a candle. So this candle is used to seal the container. Then lighter. I have also gloves. Then I have uh, masking tape. <laughs> then um, a cloth where I'm going to wipe the bottle so in order uh, to extract all the moisture that is in the bottle and I have also a pan. So what are the objectives of this experiment? So number one is to develop the accuracy in describing soil sample identification. Number two, to acquire necessary techniques in characterizing different types to soil and its physical properties. And number three, is to know the importance of soil sampling, labeling, and storage as initial basis for the advanced soil testing. Okay. Now, first, before you're going to the field to conduct the experiment, make sure that you're going to familiarize the procedures that are written in the experiment so that when you're in the field, uh, you can easily... Uh, easily conduct the experiment. Okay, so the procedures are number one, using the tools from the soil laboratory, clear the area to excavate it from foliage and other unwanted things on the site where the sample is desired to excavate to be excavated. Number two, extract the soil sample from the top, then 1.5 feet and three feet deep using auger or shovel. Use a metal stick to measure the depth desired. Then place 500 to 700 grams of disturbed sample soil into the pan or um, as much as how, you, how big is your storage bottle. Then uh, at the laboratory, note the characteristics and properties of the soil. Describe its color, type of the soil, depth excavated, and the moisture of the soil. Using the spatula, place the soil from the pan to the glass container. Seal the cap of the container by coating the, the air passageways with wax. In this laboratory, use the melted wax. So here I have the candle. Then. Label the container with the following information, group number, borehole number, depth, description of the soil sample, date, time, and excavation, and location. Then, lastly, you have to place the sample in a cool room in order not to alter the, uh, the, the information that is being gathered from the soil sample. Uh, before we go to the field, now make sure that uh, the bottles are clean and free from moisture. So you have to wipe the bottle. And then, uh, in order not to um, interchange 
the samples that you're going to extract, we have to label first the bottle, uh, which is the top, middle, and bottom. So now make sure that the bore that the borehole that you're going to make uh, you should have the exact location of the borehole. So in this case I'm going to make a borehole from the in front of monument of the Puerto Kang Leon. Okay. So I have to make the exact uh, distance from the Five meters in front of the Puerto Pandion. your hands dirty so you have to wear gloves <laughs> but of course make your hands a little dirty won't harm <laughs> okay so now I'm going Bye. to extract a soil which is the top soil to make sure no more weeds After I collected the topsoil, I have to put this one immediately to the bottle in order for the original moisture, so that original moisture will not escape okay. and it will be preserved. Now, as you can see, guys, as we dig deeper, although not really deep, pa, so na ano changes ang atong soil. Okay? But, I guess we need to dig more. Para na, dun makita dun ninyo ang difference between layers of the soil.
Okay guys, medyo laju ko dito ta sa 1.5 feet as our middle soil. But if makanotis mo nga naanay difference nga between sa soil nga imong i-extract sa top and then the soil nga karon, so pwede na nga mo na po na inyong i-preserve as your middle soil. But in this case, I want to dig more pa. Is that extract sa atong samples. So, we need to make sure that 
the original property of the soil that is being extracted from the field will be maintained so we will make this uh, container airtight okay so in order for this to uh, to be airtight so atas yang is sealed off candle wax so guys anha jutes mismo sa lid between the lid and the bottle yung ipato ang candle wax to make sure nga why moisture makagit in o makagit out already made the description in this bottle and I'm going to store it in a cool dry place. So natay butangan ng dili guys dahil atong storage sa mga samples. Okay and the last thing that we're going to do after the experiment which is the most important part is to clean the area.